Our team coverage continues in Spartanburg. Nick Carboni talked with a Panther who played college ball in Texas. Uh, Nick, this is something that uh, really hits close to home and pro players are talking about. Well, the Panthers were locked in and focused on football as training camp returned to Wofford College on Sunday afternoon. But like most Americans, they had something else heavy on their minds over the weekend. You take 90 guys from all different backgrounds and everyone's bound to have their own opinion on everything. And the Panthers have not been shy about sharing those thoughts through the years, thinking back to the protests and riots a few years ago and a few players tweeting about the shootings over this weekend. I asked Kyle Allen, the backup quarterback about it. He played his college football in Texas and he was pretty eloquent in what he had to say. We try and uh, we try and talk about other things from football as much as possible to stay sane. But when you see headlines like that in the news, it's, uh, it's just really tough to see, and obviously we're so invested in football right now that there's tough to think about, but I mean, in my opinion, you just see so many of those headlines over the news over the years. So at 23, Allen is one of the younger Panthers. He's certainly of a generation of Americans who now have seen shootings like this on the news ever since they can remember. I had a conversation with my girlfriend today about it, and I was like, we've almost become numb to it because it's happened so many times, and it's, and it's tragic. Obviously, thoughts and prayers go out to those families in Ohio and in Texas, so... It's really tragic to see. Hopefully we can figure something out on that end of things just to make a difference because there's been no difference. Allen doesn't have children right now, but would like to someday. He says having to take them into a place like a Walmart and worry about what happened in El Paso and Dayton is terrible. In Spartanburg with the Panthers, Nick Carboni for NBC Charlotte.